So you think you have VS Code all set up for .NET MAUI development? No, you're not even close because there are tons of awesome extensions that are out there today that will super boost your productivity when building and developing iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows apps with .NET MAUI inside of VS Code. Oh, and I'm also going to show you how to declutter your VS Code and create an optimized profile for .NET MAUI development so you can focus on just the extensions so your VS Code boots up super quick. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm James, and I recently put out a video from start to finish on getting your development machine set up for VS Code and .NET MAUI development. So definitely check that out. So if you're there and you've installed the C Sharp dev kit and the .NET MAUI extension for VS Code, and you're saying, wow, I'm all set up and I'm ready to go. Nope, there's tons more built in. Now, the interesting part about VS Code is that there's this wide ecosystem of extensions that are out there, and there's tons of things specific for C Sharp and .NET, but also specific for iOS and Android development. And those are things that could be really nifty when you're using and building applications with .NET MAUI. But one problem that you often run into is that your VS Code starts to expand with all of these extensions. Even if you're just doing C Sharp development, you might bring in some other components when you start to blend in some Python or JavaScript or Java development, or just have some things that are optimized for Blazor or some other REST API things or Azure development. And when you start to work on just your .NET MAUI app, you're like, wow, wouldn't it just be great if I could get rid of a bunch of these extensions and only loaded the ones that I wanted for mobile specific scenarios? Well, you can. So let's do that first and then let's explore all the awesome extensions as we build out our .NET MAUI profile. All right, let's head over to VS Code. Okay, here I am. And as you can see, I have a bunch of extensions installed. Yeah, I have the .NET MAUI extension installed with all of my Azure goodness here because I'm doing a lot of Azure development, my C Sharp dev kit. I use dev containers and Docker all the time. I use tons of GitHub things and Copilot and pull requests and NuGet package galleries and REST explorers and WSL. Whew, so much stuff. And that's just some of it. When I start to do Python development, I pull, pull that in as well. So let's go ahead and wipe this clean. Now, okay, now I'm not saying uninstall everything, but what you can do is go down to this gear and you'll see profile. And you probably never knew about this because why would you? It's kind of a hidden awesome feature. Basically, everything in the environment of VS Code is saved into a default profile, but you can create your own profiles for specific types of development. So here I'm going to say create profile. This opens up the screen and I'm gonna say .NET MAUI. And you can create as many of these as you want. So you could do Python, you could do .NET MAUI plus Blazor, you could do Blazor, you could do just C Sharp, that will optimize it here. Now here what we can see is that I have all sorts of different things that I could copy from, including my default, but I'm gonna start with a blank one. Also, you can choose your icon. So for example, here, instead of a gear, you could actually make this a mobile phone. That's kind of cool. And then you can see what it's going to configure. So it'd be settings, shortcuts, extensions, and more. So let's go ahead and create that. Now, this is really cool. VS Code just wiped away all my extensions, and we can see it's just recommending things to me. If we go on the bottom left, we can see now this says Manage .NET MAUI Profile there. That's pretty cool. And here I can actually say Edit Profile and take a look at it. So I could actually change this back to the gear if I wanted to. And now I have the gear down here that says .NET in there, or .N, I should say. Let me go back to Edit Profile. I'm going to make it the mobile icon just because I think that's pretty neat. All right, cool. So now that's going to be my profile here for everything that's here. So anything that's in here is specific. So if I change my theme, if I do different things, it'll be good to go. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and get this set up for .NET MAUI development. So I'm actually just going to search for .NET MAUI, even though I have the extension page open, but I'm just going to install it. And this was really what I showed in my video, which is installing this extension here. Now I also want to point out that these profiles give you, for example, the ability to come in and I could say, create new profile, and then I could clone the .NET MAUI one. I call this .NET MAUI pre, for example. And in this case, I want might want to create a, another uh, flavor of this profile where I'm using the pre-release versions of everything, right? So that'd be kind of cool too. So if I came in here and I looked at all my installed extensions, I could say, okay, like let me turn pre-release on for all of these. So I want to live cutting edge, right? So this will install all those pre-release extensions for me that's going on. And then I could go ahead and restart the extensions and boom, now I actually have my pre-release stuff going on. And we can see that there. And you could easily then switch back to your .NET MAUI one. Boom, look at that. It's so quick. It's really, really cool. And now we're back to our base. 
So now we're gonna start to optimize this thing. Now that I have my .NET MAUI profile set up, I can start to customize it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for GitHub uh, here. I'm gonna install Copilot, because why wouldn't I uh, here? And this is gonna give me all my GitHub Copilot goodness here. And if you were using other things such as pull requests uh, or GitHub Actions, you might wanna add those ones as well. But I'm always using GitHub Copilot, so I'm gonna definitely do that. Awesome. So now we're good to go with .NET MAUI and Copilot. So let's go ahead and create a .NET MAUI project so we can start to add in some extensions that will make it even better. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna go in .NET MAUI app. I'm gonna select my GitHub folder, cool, and MAUI app six and create it. Awesome, okay. So VS Code reloads here. And now we not only have our MAUI app, but our C Sharp dev kit and everything will be booting up here. And then we will get um, our solution explorer. So I'm gonna drag that to the top and our profiles will save that too. So perfect, awesome, that looks super good, rad. All right, cool, so we have all of our things. We have C Sharp hot reload, we have XAML hot reload, all those things that are set up for me. So I can go and configure those settings and all of those settings over here are also going to be um, saved. So if I change, this or I turn on the C Sharp Dev Kit uh, Hot Reload, for example, that'll all be enabled for me. And I can back up and sync these settings across machine. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna search for is Android. Now you might be saying, well, that's not .NET MAUI. What does that mean when you wanna search for Android? Well, you actually wanna find something called Android iOS Emulator. This is a really awesome extension that helps you launch Android emulators on any operating system or also iOS simulators when you're on a Mac. So that's really neat. So let's go ahead and install this here. Cool, it's really, really quick to install. And something just happened here, actually on the top right, we can see that there's an emulator button. You can actually tap on that and it'll do a drop down here, but we're gonna make sure we configure it. You can actually go over to your Solution Explorer and you can browse for that main page, for example, and you can still see it over here. You could also come to your command palette and say emulator and it'll show up there too. But let's go down into our settings and what we'll notice is that there's an emulator configuration. There's a bunch of different settings here for Android boot arguments, but we'll also see that the emulator path is set here. So by default, it has a default for the Mac, but there's an override for Windows, which is what I'm on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. All right, cool. So now when I'm back in here, I'm gonna hit this little emulator button, say, show me my Android emulators. And it's gonna just find it here. So I just have this one, so it's gonna launch it automatically. And this is really, really nice because it means that I don't have to wait for it to launch and for .MAUI to find it. And now I just have my emulator good to go. And if I'm over on a Mac, well, sure enough, yeah, I can go ahead and boot my iOS simulators as well. So that's super duper nice. All right, let's look at another quick one for .NET MAUI. Now what I'm gonna do is just type in .NET MAUI. And actually there's a bunch of things that you're gonna come up here and you can feel free to definitely explore all of them. The first one here is actually, I really like, it's really, it's new and it's just out there. Uh, it came out on my birthday, so that's cool. It's called the View Code Behind. So here I'm just gonna hit Install. And what I like about this extension is that often we're working in XAML, right? So here's my main page. Now if I right click, we're gonna see View Code. Boop. And just like that, it goes directly into my code behind. Nothing else needed there, which is really, really neat. I can also say View Markup, and it goes right back to it. So that is a super nifty extension. I know it seems silly, but actually when you're working on this every single day, just being able to come in here and say view markup and then view XAML makes it really, really nice. And there's even keyboard shortcuts as well. So that's cool. All right, here's some other ones that I definitely wanna point out. This one I love, it's called the Apple Privacy Manifest Editor. Now the Apple Privacy file is brand new in more recent versions of iOS. You're gonna to need to set this if you're doing things such as using preferences or keychain or other things like that. So let's go ahead and install this one. Awesome. Let's head back over to my project. And the first thing I wanna do over here is go to my command palette. I'm just gonna type in privacy. And there's gonna be two different things here. Create a default Apple privacy and edit the privacy manifest file. So let's create one. When I do this, I get a little pop-up. It says, am I using preferences or I preferences? Yeah, I'm probably gonna definitely be using those. So I'm gonna say yes. Now this is gonna create a default manifest file automatically for me. It's gonna be placed inside of platforms and then inside of iOS. And we can see it here, privacyinfo.xc privacy. And this is gonna configure everything for me automatically, which is really, really nice. Now, this is just in an XML format, but if I come back up, I just say privacy again, we can do edit 
privacy manifest file. And it's going to give me a nice drop down here where I can add different things such as the file timestamps, boot time, disk space, keyboard, and user defaults as well. So this will show me everything and I can edit it here and save the manifest. So that's really nifty when you're coming in and you want to do some manifest editor here. All right. Another one that I want to show off is the archive and publish tool. Now this is a really cool extension because it enables you to archive and publish your application. I get questions about this all the time because yes, there are ways of doing this from the command line, but it sure would be nice if this was built into VS code. Now what's cool here is that, yeah, you can publish Android, iOS, and Windows, and they have a great roadmap to publish directly to Google Play and TestFlight and Mac Catalyst in the future. Let's go ahead and install this here. Perfect. Now, when I come over, let's say open up that main page again, I could come in and I can type in archive. And here we're going to see a bunch of different options here. So we're going to see things like uh, generating a code signing key, a listing the key stores, links to documentation to help you along your way. For iOS, if you're on a Mac, you can list provisioning profile, signing identities, and you can publish your iOS, Windows, or Android applications. And you can see I've tested this recently. So let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like. I can say publish Android, it finds my project, I can sign or unsign it, and decide if I want an APK or AAB. So here I'll just say APK, and now it's going to run the commands to automatically publish this automatically for me. So I need to memorize every little bit of this there. Now, of course, while this is all happening, you probably want to set up CI CD. So definitely check out the GitHub actions as well. All right. Well, there you have it. I've now shown you how to create that beautiful custom VS code profile when you're doing down at Maui development and you can customize it to your liking. And you also saw four, that's right, four different .NET MAUI extensions and Android and iOS extensions for VS Code. If there's any other ones that you're using every single day, let me know in the comments below and share with the world what extensions that you're using to make your mobile and desktop development experience inside of VS Code even better. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you did like this video or any of the extensions, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I put out new videos here almost every single week. So until next time, I'm James. Thanks for watching.